This video is a little demonstration for the upcoming changes for the official Xenco documentation section. The documentation will be updated with a new section called Tutorials, which you can find either in the header of the documentation or from the main documentation page. Here we will start listing all new tutorial segments and all the tutorials that fall underneath that. The first tutorial category that's going to be added is the C Sharp Tutorials category and specifically the C Sharp Beginner Tutorials. You can select the C Sharp Beginner course and once you've done so you will be instructed what the course is all about, what kind of tutorials you can expect and how you can start your own C Sharp tutorial project directly from the launcher. We'll start off with 12 different tutorials which will be extended later on once we've released a first version. Other categories like C Sharp Intermediate and C Sharp Advanced will be added later down the line. Every little tutorial has a little thumbnail and a quick explanation on what you're going to learn and once you click on it you will be shown a little screenshot, an, ex an explanation about what you're going to learn and you will see the actual code snippets that are being used. At a later moment, every single tutorial will be accompanied with a YouTube video explaining the code step by step and how you can use this together with Xenco. From that point on, you will also be able to select the tutorials project from the project selection screen right after you started the Xenco launcher. Here all the tutorial projects will be listed and you can create your own Xenco project with the tutorial template selected. Once you've built and started the c -sharp Beginner Tutorial Template, you'll enter a little playground where you can test every single tutorial piece by piece. If for instance you're following the Delta Time tutorial, simply open Delta Time, the scene will load and the tutorial will display what you can do with that tutorial. At the moment of recording, we're putting the final touches to the tutorial project and once that's done, we can merge it with the Xenco main repository and you can start away with these tutorials. In the meantime, always feel free to leave any feedback or if you have any suggestions, have a look at the C-Sharp tutorials ideas that are listed in the description below.